Okay, so the Bagua master is Li Fuling, and the MMA guy is Dong Jian. Dong Jian is actually a pretty famous MMA guy. So this is the match that I have more context for now. So check this out right here. They're mentioning you can't hit the throat, okay? Watch this. This is going to come into play later on. I had to show this part because when we first featured this, we didn't show you that beginning when he said, okay, like you can't hit to the throat, okay? So Bagua guy doesn't have his gloves, right? So no excuses there. And MMA guy so far going very, very light. And Bagua guy starting some of his movements. They look pretty. Ooh, look at that spin kick. He even catches the kick by MMA guy. Almost throws him. Ooh, he just took a right. Look at that. See that? He's never been hit before. He's never been hit before. Look at Dong Jian. Dong Jian, the, the MMA guy's like, yeah, look at that. He's got that swagger. He's like, yeah, you've never been hit before. So now, Bagua guy just making excuses, taking a break in the middle of the match. <laughs> the ref and the promotion here. The MMA gym is humoring him. <laughs> Already this is kind of an excuse, right? But they're letting it play out. So look at that. Look at him taking a break in the middle when the match just started, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I guess he needs something cracked. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. So, notice he's not moving like a Bagua guy anymore with his footwork, right? No more of that cool um, eight trigram movement. Ooh, he got knocked down. He got knocked down. Now, oh, he tried to take down, but just got tossed. He he tried to go for the leg, if you notice, but the MMA guy just pushed him off. Did you see it? Did you see him? He said the throat thing. See that? We didn't understand this because I didn't get the context when I first featured this. He's talking about the throat thing. I can't hit him in the throat. Oh, MMA guy's mad now. You can't hit me in the throat. I'm going to kick you in the face and punch you. Look at that. And oh, see, this actually makes a lot of sense now why the MMA guy beat him up a little bit. Yep, and the ref ruled it TKO. What we weren't able to see was what happened after the match. See, we gave the Bagua guy credit for at least trying, but it turns out he made a lot of excuses right after this match. When Master Lee starts making excuses, so watch what he says. He's like, look, it's all because I wasn't able to attack your throat with Bagua. See? And look at, look at these MMA guys just looking around like, so he's like, oh my god, oh my god, I, I, if only I could hit you in the throat. And then the ref gives him a water. It's like, slow down, man, slow down. Catch your breath. Hilarious. But yeah, this was the part I didn't get to show you guys in the beginning because I didn't know who this Bagua guy was until today. I found his name. So he wasn't sort of losing with grace. <laughs> So the camera person was obviously on the Bagua guy's side because he says it's Jianmen, like our, our traditional Kung Fu. So it makes sense why this clip sort of kind of fell by the wayside. It took me a lot of digging to find this. Obviously, they want to bury the part where he makes excuses. Anyways, guys, providing more and more journalistic context, man. That's what we do really well on this channel. I'm doing my chess competition by the time you guys see this. So talk to you guys soon. I'll let you know how my chess playing goes, man. If I commentary breakdowns out, make sure to press the like. Make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, leave a comment. What type of excuses do you want to see in the future or do you not want to see? You know, you could be funny either way. And then do you play chess? Let me know. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.